Okay, in this video, what we're going to be talking about are the basic charting elements within Metastock Zenith. The easiest way to access the chart is to go to the Helios um, icon up here, and then go down and find the charting app. So once we click the charting app, it will default to whatever the main one that you have open here. So whatever symbol you've last looked at, it will default to that chart. Uh, we can then uh, change it to whatever we want. So for example, here, if I go to Microsoft Corporation. So what we're looking at here is a basic standard chart. We have a bar chart open here uh, with our price and time down here. Uh, the first thing that we're able to do once we have a chart open is change the style of charting that we have. So if we wanted to go to a line chart with a gradient fill, or if we wanted to go to a standard bar or candlestick, we can go through and change our charting styles. Next, we're able to add in an analysis. An analysis is going to be a standard indicator. So the first thing it does is it gives you an option for, um, for standard indicators that most people want to look at. So for example, if I wanted to add in a Bollinger Band or a MACD. So if I put on the MACD, uh, it will ask me what periods do you want to use. Now the defaults are 12.26.9. So we'll just leave that as a standard. Choose Add and then it will put it in its own window. And then I can grab the uh, line here in the middle and drag up and down and kind of set it however, uh, whatever size I want. I can also come in here and uh, just choose insert analysis, which will give me the full range of all the different technical indicators that are available with inside Metastock Zenith charting. So for example, if I want to add uh, volume, we'll choose add. And what's nice is it automatically adds its own window for it. You don't have to do anything there. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Bollinger Bands as our last option here. So we'll find Bollinger Bands. Uh, we'll leave the standard 20 and a two period. And then we'll just close here. So now I can uh, move these around, set these up um, the way that I'd like to. I can change my time frame here. I can do uh, trend lines if I'd like to. Uh, so here's all the different tools like Fibonacci's uh, trend lines range. This, make, this lets you jump in and display um, information as you'd like to see it. So if we want to display more data, um, we select that. Uh, let's go back to range. Best fit will kind of give us a good view on how it best looks in the chart. Or if I really want to zoom in on something, I'd say I want to see the last six months, uh, the last five years, and zoom around and play with the data like that. So that makes it easier to, to be able to, uh, to jump around your data. So let's, uh, let's zoom in on something uh, maybe the last six months here. Okay, uh, once you've done that, uh, you can do the best fit by just clicking this display button here. Uh, modifying the chart window properties are things like background color, titles, uh, things like that. Uh, we're not really going to spend a lot of time, but uh, if you wanted to change your background color on your chart, uh, go to the display, background color, and let's maybe do uh, blue or light purple, which is OK. And that will change my background color. So a few other things we have here are options. We have a target cursor where you can uh, lock in on price by clicking your cursor. Uh, we have a data window available that will show you all the different indicator values in your window. So when you move around, it will show you all those. Uh, here, you, you're basically uh, going in or out on your x-axis, up or down on your y-axis. You can zoom in on an area by using your magnifying glass and zooming in on a range of area. And then you can also choose the different buttons that you would like to see. Okay, so let me show you one other, uh, a few other things that you can do within the chart application. So if you right click, uh, it gives you uh, related things that you can do. So if you want to launch up a related app to Microsoft, so if I wanted to go to time and sales or options, I, I can launch them right from here. Uh, we can also uh, launch news from here. Uh, add another analysis or another chart or an annotation uh, from here. So if you wanted to put a note on your chart, you could do that, change your range. So a lot of these tools are the same as from what you had um, up at the top toolbar. Uh, this is a great option right here where you can take your same chart 
and we can split it uh, by inter interval or instrument, meaning you can put different instruments or different time frames. So if I want to take this uh, daily chart and change it into four different time frames, I just choose that option. And now I have a weekly, a daily, an hourly, and a five minute. So it lets me quickly uh, open up multiple uh, time frame options. So that's a, a great uh, introduction into the charting within Metastock Zenith and some of the things that you can do there. I hope that you have found this video useful. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to contact us here at Metastock. Thank you.